What you want, baby, I got it. Well, that is, if what you want is really fascinating weather information. That's right, we are still in a pretty wild hurricane season, and the area we've been watching has shifted from going to the east to now going to the west. And so we've got a hurricane watch up for the Gulf of Mexico, and we will be watching for Epsilon to turn into a major storm that may hit England, and if that one doesn't, it looks like England's going to get hit with a storm over the next two weeks eventually, and I'm talking a pretty big one. So buckle up, kids, because the end of October is sure to be a doozy. And in my opinion, 2020 is definitely the year where North American wildfires look and act just like volcanoes. The fire situation in Colorado over the last few days has been horrifying, and mass evacuations have taken place in several areas as we have seen wildfires just kind of go crazy in the most dangerous of ways. So we got Epsilon we are watching, and then I think this would end up being Zeta down here. Where will it go? Well, GEFS says it's going to zigzag over Cuba, bip boop the nose of Florida, zigzag, and then punch South Carolina 144 hours from now. That's probably not going to happen. This ensemble suggests it's going to hit the panhandle of Florida in about 144 hours. So we've still got quite a few days for this thing to develop. This would be the worst case scenario as it would bypass any type of land interaction that would mess up its ability to develop. And if that happened, I would definitely say it would probably end up being a hurricane, except for if there was mass wind shear. But yeah, dude, the wildfires in Colorado have been pretty jaw-dropping across the board. The cranky weather guy, the best weatherman on the planet, doesn't think he's going to be impressed too much with the storm coming out of the Caribbean, although it can go either way. And I just want to remind everybody that October surprises uh, are probably probable, and the October storm in 2018, Hurricane Michael, nobody thought it would do much, and it ended up being a Category 5 hurricane. And so we have definitely seen a storm go from tropical storm to major hurricane status in less than 24 hours. So no matter what, everybody keep your guard up on this thing until it passes. Cranky Weather Guy did warn us to watch um, the storm that is coming off of Africa. It might be a problem in 10 days. And so we're doing that. And we have seen multiple models draw up some type of hurricane in that area, in that section, and have it be a hurricane that could possibly pose danger to the United States of America and the Caribbean islands. So, you know, anything over five days, you never know, but we are definitely watching, although this one would be like a weird sandy type storm. This is just one model run. And, but it, you can see, I mean, it's just one, one model run, but you still look at all the runs. There would be one there and then one there. So, and this would be November 8th. So, you know, I've told y'all that, like, things are going to be crazy until 2022, pretty much. So stay cool, and we got a cold front coming, so that should help you if you are going to try to stay cool. Yay. We got a pretty big Santa Ana-type wind event headed to California. I think it starts on Sunday and Monday. Rob Maeda, high wind potential entering the short-range models. Event Fork Horizon first up. WRF showing the start of the wind ladder on Sunday. Note the rapid drop in relative humidity. We'll be watching model runs closely to see how Monday goes, and this could pose more fire danger. As fantasy president, Ariana Grande gave a medal to postal workers, so that was cool. 75,000 cases of corona in USA yesterday. Poland, biggest one-day increase on record coronavirus infections in England, way up it's spiking in Russia, Wales, Ireland, France, Italy. It's going to be a rough winter, man. Poland saying deep lockdown may be needed, so just get ready. Sun's waking up. We got strange red auroras and a new sunspot. 
spoiler alert, we do not know the answer to this question. Where did all the red auroras come from? Dun, dun, dun. There should have been almost no auroras at all, yet we're getting some crazy red auroras. So that's interesting, right? The King Euro shows the Invest 95 going to Louisiana, but you never know. So yeah, 2020 has been wild and dangerous, and 2020 will probably stay wild and dangerous. Epsilon has been quite a beast, and will eventually head towards the UK. And we get a sun diving comet and a coronal mass ejection. The two are usually linked. So sun diving comet, which looks like a bullet, then a coronal mass ejection as it's about to happen. So there is a lot going on. I will do my best to keep keeping on keeping you guys posted because it is what I do as your planetary defense commander, Star Lord New Thor 7, the T. And definitely, you know, the next two weeks could just be wild on every single level. And remember, we started the year with a full moon on the first, and we're going to end on Halloween with a full moon. On the 31st so expect the bookend close out of October to be super crazy that would be my opinion it's best to be prepared for the worst and pray for the best so everybody stay cool I will be up and around keeping you guys posted and there is a lot going on love y'all y'all are amazing super duper awesome and fantastic stay cool God bless everyone